think uh, those are two very good scores, and for the most part, we made it hard for them, though they did miss some pretty good looks at times. But I've watched what they've done to some other teams, and uh, I thought we were uh, better defensively, still have room for improvement, but we were a little more um, active and swarming. And I think that's that's important. And then I thought, um, you know, our, our offense helped our defense. We certainly shared the ball and got good looks and moved it and saw some good good lift from the bench. Uh, that was a nice stretch when they came in in that first first half. I mean, you've had the success you've had on the road. How much does it help your confidence going into a game like this? Well, I think, you know, with, with a team that has, you know, a number of new guys or less experienced players, you're, you're never sure. But I think, you know, going to Cal um, and having some success there, even at UNC Greensboro to start, and then the last game against, well, Louisville and Clemson, those, those are important things that just, they're deposits that you can remember say, hey, if we just stay steady um, and, and do the right things, we're going to have a chance. And we always talk about home or away, what we have to do to eliminate losing. And I thought we were decent in our transition defense tonight and very good taking care of the ball. Um, rebounding was – defensive rebounding was – wasn't great, but it was it was okay. You know, they were pretty spread out, so they weren't all over the glass. Okay, Andrew, and then we'll take one in the middle. You talked about the the lift that the, the bench gave you. How important was that stretch where you, you gave London maybe a little more rest than, than you expected? You had right. him out there for about seven minutes, and and Ty seemed to be holding his own up there. You guys extended the lead, I think, yeah. to 14 during that time. If you remember in the Clemson game, the same thing happened. Um, actually, Doug, you asked the question, I think, at Clemson, because it, one, we were playing well, and, and all of a sudden it went to a couple media timeouts, and they gave us a nice lift at Clemson. I, and I don't even know if they extended the lead, but they kept it where it was. Darius, Ty, and Kyle, and I, I can't exactly remember who we had in there, but uh, Devin played at a, a nice level tonight for sure, but that, that lift from, uh, and Isaiah, again, had a good game, but that lift was important. And again, guys are getting rest, and we come in and we can play harder defensively. We can cut harder offensively, and those are the times I've seen where our, our ten-man um, group has has helped us. Okay, in the middle, Tony. Uh, BC up. likes to likes to get to the basket and you know certainly get to the free throw line. What did you guys have to feel that you needed to do to uh, take away points from Kai? Well, and be, Jerome? yeah, because they're they love to play fast, and you know he's he's kind of a one man fast break. Kai is, and then they get going downhill. We, it, you know, it's, there's so many teams in this league that are so good in transition, and they've moved into that upper echelon how hard they push and we just talk, build a wall we kind of we said we drew a line at a certain point and we said this is where the battle begins they right there it starts fly to get to that line and then we, we set it from you know whatever point we had as our pickup point and that was just what I kept reminding them and I said look they're a second half team they've come back on leads we felt like if we were set then we could make them work and um, I think it you know for the most part helped but uh, those are good players for sure Young, good players. That point before half court. Uh, the point behind half court. Behind, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no, was, yeah, we just said we about 23, 24 feet. We just said get back, and I'd love to be able to meet him at half court. And Uncle, I said everything you got to get on the glass. Couple guys, everybody else is back. We run and we we wall it off and stop it together, and then we start our defense from that line down. Take a couple on the right. Yeah, Coach. Um, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, Virginia prides itself on its defense. Uh, excuse me if this is redundant, but during the first half, uh, Virginia went on a 15-0 run, held BC, went out a point for about 5.20. And then overall, during one stretch in the first half, Virginia held BC, went out a point for about 10 and a half minutes. Okay, so you know, if you could address the uh, team's defensive play during that stretch, if not the entire game, please, Coach. Yeah, well, there hasn't been a lot of pride in our defense the last few games. We've been struggling a little bit, um, but the guys had a good couple days of preparing for them. Um, I do think. I wouldn't get crazy and, and say we, we were great defensively. They were off shooting. They missed a lot of shots. So I want to keep that real. But we were better than we've been the last couple times defensively. We were, as I said, you might not have been here, we, we swarmed more. We were more active on the ball, not not way out on the floor, but from that pickup point line and down. And um, they had a hit for the most part contested shots. So I, you know, you saw Jack Salt, our big guy, he, he just, he was, you know, he, I thought he was really effective. You know, that new rule where you can 
jump up even if you're in the cylinder as a secondary defender and not get called. I thought he bothered some stuff when guys were trying to drive. So I was I thought we took the a, a good step. Um, if you'd have watched this against Clemson, you'd have been shaking your head. So this was definitely better. Devin has strung together a number of really solid games. Has he gotten to a point where you're kind of expecting this from him, or you're no longer surprised if he yeah, I mean, he's double just, digits points and right. rebounds assists. He's just playing at a steady level. Uh, Bach and I were talking as we're walking here. He's just he's steady, and I mean, obviously that stat line's good, and he's working um, six assists, zero turnovers. He's playing at the four when we go four guards. Sometimes he's, his versatility is helping us, and you know we need we continue to need that. So um, I liked what I saw again from him, Zay, and a number of guys tonight. Take a couple more. Doug and then Andrew. You probably uh, have a better feel for this than the us, but uh, 22 assists on 27 baskets, and I think there was a st long stretch before you had an unassisted basket tonight. What does that mean? Does that mean? Yeah, it means uh, I think that was one of the most beautiful possessions I've seen this year. That one where we had a side uh, underneath out of bounds, the ball came out, and a guy had a decent shot, moved it, moved it, swung it across, and Kyle hit that corner three. Um, that's playing for each other. That's sharing the ball. That's not worrying about getting your own or getting numbers. That's efficient basketball. And again, our offense has to be part of our defense. You know, if we're moving the ball, that can wear the offense down, and, and we're getting good shots. That's demoralizing at times. You know, it's happened to us when you know they're, they're making good plays offensively so uh, I just liked the low turnovers and obviously making the next pass and the guys made some tough shots but they were pretty good shots tonight good rhythm shots against Clemson I thought we made a few more of the contested shots but I thought our ball movement and screening um, was sharp Okay, last one, Andrew. Yeah, taking a little bit after what Doug said, that the five turnovers with those 22 assists coming off of Clemson where you had trouble sometimes with sloppy possessions and inbounds plays, they were difficult. How much was that what emphasize when yeah. you looked back at Clemson? What was kind right. of the, were the holes there, and how much did you clean that yeah. up? Well, we had one where we pressed and we turned it over, and that was discouraging because we worked on it. I think you always try to fix, um, you know, that next day at practice or whenever it is after game. You look at those areas. All right, we need to address these and we need to fix these things. And we talked about the the things that cost us against Clemson, um, and we worked hard on those things and inbound unders press attack, uh, getting it in, trying to be sound, and then a couple things defes defensively, a couple little swarming things, adjustment things that I thought helped us somewhat.